people are marching all over the world because of sexist president Donald Trump. Fox News will put us straight. Well, some celebrities taking it a little too far in their speeches at women's marches this weekend. Listen. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. A bit tricky though, because you're a really recognizable figure. What's Madonna doing with that duffel bag, scrambling towards those railings? A-listers joining the hundreds of thousands of people filling the streets in cities all across the world to protest the new president. Here to weigh in on this is the editor of conservativeblackchick.com, Crystal Wright. Good morning, Crystal. Good morning, Ainsley. Good morning. What were your thoughts when you saw the coverage of all these marches in different cities around the world? Well, my first thought was how privileged these women, these liberal women were. It's always interesting when the right to protest is seen as a sort of privilege in itself. It is, but only when compared to despotism. They could, you know, walk around in their pink pussy hats. You don't know how lucky you are walking around in that pink pussy hat. You could be in Guantanamo Bay or indeed being grabbed by your sexual organs. Raging about how women have no rights. Really? Meanwhile, most women in America, most working women, they don't have the luxury to parade around with whiny PMSing celebrities. I suppose what the lady there from blackchick.com does is she facilitates editorial comment that would otherwise be unacceptable. I mean, like me as a white man, if I said that that march was driven by premenstrual stress, I think that's what PMS stands for, that might be seen as a bit sexist. What they don't like about Donald Trump seems mild in comparison to what some of these celebrities are suggesting. Madonna's saying she wants to blow, she's thought a lot about blowing up the White House. Hold on a minute. No, that is well within the the confines of peaceful protest, isn't it? Just saying, I thought about blowing. You thought about it, what? You mean in the old brain box? Yeah. Well, lock her up. You know, like that's not strayed into the territory of da even dangerous rhetoric. It's simply rhetoric. I mean, lives would be lost if that happened. She's talking about assassinating the president. There's people in that White House. All of them, bits and bobs would fly off in all sorts of directions. Yeah, no, but it's only saying a thing at a rally. I mean, I think if it was a genuine, like if the White House does blow up over the next 48 hours and Madonna can't provide an alibi, then I think pursue this line of inquiry. Correct, Ainsley. And when I, I watched some of the clips from this march yesterday, and when I heard Madonna suggest that she wants to blow up the White House. On one hand, they're sort of dismissing it and saying it's a um, sort of just the sour grapes of neoliberal rich people. And then on the other hand, they say, wait, Madonna's threatening to blow up the White House. Get the CIA involved. The White House, the symbol of power, not only to America, but to the world, I shudder. I bet you didn't shudder. I bet you thought this would be a good bit when I'm on Fox News tomorrow. They don't, none of those women represent me. And what I thought was really ironic about this so-called March for Women, right? It was supposed to be peaceful. It was full of hate and outrage. And I didn't see a lot of diversity. Hold on a minute. There couldn't be any more black women in the back of that shot. I mean, I don't know if Madonna's produced that moment really, really well. It's like every single person there is black and Latin. Madonna sticks out like a sore thumb, not just because of that odd Batman hat. Why don't you go spend your time at a homeless shelter for battered women? Mm. That's what Hel Kellyanne Conway said in an interview. She right? said if Madonna would use some of her millions of dollars to go and help women in shelters, it would do a, a lot more good. Now some very recognizable tropes. Don't protest. Give us your money. And the 16 million women living in poverty shook their heads, Ainsley, because they're worried about the lack of jobs, unaffordable health care, and illegal immigration. What about the biased media or the media changing the narrative? That's amazing when Fox talk about the media changing the narrative while literally being the media changing the narrative. This couldn't become any more meta unless she accused herself of actually doing that out of another mouth on the side of her cheek. Ashley Judd, Madonna, uh, you showed you know some sound bites mm -hmm. from these nasty, nasty, rich Hollywood celebrities who are upset that Hillary didn't win. Do you think anyone believes anything anymore? Do you think people actually think this stuff was just like going to Fox and say that you're 100 grand a year? Yeah, all right, no problem. What do I say? Just say this stuff that you actually believe that Madonna was going to blow the White House? Yeah, no problem. Say these women are whining? Yeah, no problem. Anything else? Yeah, after the break, we're going to ask you to say some stuff about Mexican people. 
I'll do that as well. This is just another example of the liberal media trying to cast President Donald Trump as a racist when he is not. Donald Trump is not a racist. I suppose what Fox is really masterful of doing is repackaging that event. I mean, whatever you think of it, it is a coming together of a huge number of people to express dissatisfaction. And I think part of the problem that led to this election was this sense of detachment. When is the liberal media and America gonna get over it? Those who didn't vote for Donald Trump, he is our president. He is already doing great things in the first eight hours that he has been president than President Barack Obama did in eight years. Thank you, Crystal. Have a great day. <laughs> Thanks. It's good that people are expressing their solidarity and discontent. And I suppose what we have to address is the world of symbols versus the world of actual reality. Media has become interested only in secondary and symbolic narratives. Nothing real is getting talked about. It's weird. So what's real? We don't know, and we're unlikely to know from watching Fox and Friends. Who are the Friends? <laughs> True News, subscribe here. Nose is a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Trues is like the news. If the news was true, I want some trues. Let's have some trues.